Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back at Ravenport, part number three. So we're finished um, cultivating and plowing both these fields. Uh, we need to fertilize and seed. This guy has 50% fertilized and 0% weeds at the moment. But um, you can see I haven't even skipped part part way through any of the game yet. Like we're just um, kind of stuck where we are you know we it's taken us so long to get everything done I haven't really been able to advance time as much as I would have liked so oh anyway we've got some wheat going down here and I think I might put soybeans or something on the other field over there we're gonna have to work out how we're gonna harvest those potatoes we're gonna have to lease some equipment I think um, then we'll be right. Once we lease some equipment, we'll be able to get everything picked up. Hopefully make a decent amount of money out of those potatoes. It is all free. Free money. Well, not really free because we pay for the fields, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a, a bit of extra free coin. Because we didn't have to spend all that time and effort in um, planning everything and plowing and cultivating and planting and all that sort of stuff so technically I guess you can say it's free money so there's plenty of other um, contracts off on offer at the moment some harvesting stuff some fertilizing stuff um, and we can actually use our own gear now as well which is pretty good now, let's have a quick look I'll show you guys where are the contracts so it says here uh, 14,000 use your own equipment or lease equipment for reward, reduced by 2,770. Make sure to fill the tool with fertilizer. That's $10,000 for this one. Harvest the oat in field 13 and take the product to the ranch. Uh, where's the field 13? Um, oh, jeez. It's a fair hike. We're not going to do any of those anyway, but you know that's that's an option if you need a little bit of money. If you're starting out um, on the really hard mode and you need a little bit of extra money, you know you just, just work for everyone else. You can you know buy your own tractor, use your own tractor to to make a bit of extra money. I mean I don't think um, an extra two hundred ninety nine dollars or you know two thousand dollars for us using our own gear. An extra two thousand dollars for us using our own gear is good. But um, there's other contracts there where if you use your own gear, it's like $299. I mean, that's hardly worth it, is it? The wear and tear and the fuel and stuff. You're better off just um, you know, using their gear. That's what I'll be doing. So, all right, we're going to seed this field. Now, I'm going to hire a worker shortly. I'm trying to get things sort of progress through as quick as we can to the next stage where we start harvesting again and start making some bloody money but um, I've got as I said we've got the mower um, and we've got the baling stuff ready to go so we're going to start mowing then start baling as well I actually didn't look at a windrower either which is probably another thing we need to look at probably only a really really small one but Nevertheless, we're probably going to need one. Right, so I'll put this down, and then it. H for hide worker. Off he goes. So wheat growing, 0% fertilized. Oh, parts of it's fertilized. No weeds. A uh, truck's still there. Jumping out. Uh, Least tractor. And then we'll head on up, pick up our mower. I wonder if we can put it on the front just to bring it back. That'll be the way to go, I think. We won't have to worry about doing two trips. Uh, other thing I want to look at is possibly working out where, when the time comes, where we're going to put our cows and stuff. We're going to need like a decent, reasonably flat area. Um, so, yeah, something we're definitely going to have to look at. 
Another thing I want to look at quickly is go chainsaws. Um, yes, 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 yes. I want to buy that. Because I want to be able to clear some of those trees sort of um, just north of field 19 a little bit there. And we could possibly expand that um, field a fair bit more. And even possibly use the bottom part of that field, turn that into um, maybe the cow area, the sheep area, that sort of thing down the bottom there. I think, I think sheep are probably the way to go. I mean, I'd love to buy the horse, the horse stuff straight away because um, I just feel that that will be much more fun. If I go to drive this back, it's just going to be terrible, isn't it? So yeah, let's not do that. Let's uh, put it on the back. So yeah, to buy the... Let's have a quick look. To buy the horse... The horse pens... Uh, 50,000. So it's not too bad. Uh, it tells you what you need, which is pretty cool. Um, that's oats. Grass or hay, oats, hay, and water. Have up to eight, up to sixteen. Pigs, a hundred, two hundred fifty, eighty, two fifty. Um, the cow pasture is expensive too, so I think yeah, like the horse paddock will be the next thing that I probably want to look at. Uh, we'll just need to grab. Um, some. Oat. Definitely oats, yeah. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was oats because you know, horses love oats. Alright, so we need to unfold mower, fold mower, lower mower, all that sort of stuff. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's head back down. A little bit of frame rate loss there. A little bit, a little bit jumpy, but not too bad. I'm kind of all over the shop with my driving. That's just, it's just normal. All right, so I want to quickly unfold it. Uh, turn it on. Oop. That lower. You don't have access to this land. No, that's what I thought. Okay, good. We can't just mow anywhere we like now. We need to mow in our own area, which is another thing we need to work out where it is. So inside this road just ahead, where this dirt road kind of turns off, um, we're here. So all this land through here is all ours. So we could clear all these trees and stuff and use all this to, to be able to be cut down. And what's about here? Just from that dirt road up. Dirt road up the hill, which probably isn't that great. I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be really, really, really laggy at the moment. Is it cutting? There we go, it's finally cutting something. So there's not a lot of grass there, it doesn't look like. Not even cutting all these you know, big bits of brush and that sort of stuff, which is kind of what I expected expected it to. There's plenty of grass up here, so that's good. Turn left and go up this way. It's probably the worst thing about having having this one. The arm, and that is just annoying with how far out it sort of sticks. And again, I think, does that mean we can. put it straight behind us? Ah, oh, look at that. Much better. Certainly much better. Not that we're, I don't think we're really getting that much grass out of it. 
anyway, to be honest. Alright, hope it F's completed their tasks. We'll shut you down for now. I mean, it's... I don't know, like it's... All this stuff should be getting cut. All of it. The whole damn lot of it. Uh, oh, not that. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want I. Why? Um, we want oats. Is that right? That should be oats. Um, yes. Fingers crossed that's oats. Off you go, my friend. Oh, there we go. Good work. Go down and jump back into this guy. damage in any of that field if we can avoid it so I'm really surprised like that these bushes like the white bushes on that should really be getting cut down so yeah I don't know why why they wouldn't be to be honest it should be Definitely cut all around there. I don't know whether if we can, I mean, we could probably plow around the field and um, just plant grass. So it actually looks, the area looks a lot better. You know what I mean? Like, if we plow it, I would say it should, well, it should get rid of all those bushes and stuff. Oh, sorry, mate, stay there. I feel like, um, possibly the tractor's even possibly damaging the grass, maybe? Is that kind of what's going on? Or is it just me? She can kind of see where the tractor has and hasn't been. Go like this and move this over. Yeah, I think, you know, I really think the tractor was actually damaging all that grass. Believe it or not. Because of crop destruction and stuff. Which is a little bit weird. Yeah, but you can see where I've definitely, you know, run over it with a tractor, so... Kinda need to keep that in mind. So I really didn't think it would matter much with the grass, but it um, obviously does. And that's where I feel like now we need to change what we're using to mow. Put the mower on the front. Kind of definitely defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Uh, I feel like it definitely does. It's kind of um, waste items. Yeah, you can return that. All right. Because it's destroying everything, we really need that on the front. Uh, lease. Yes, okay. What about um, wind rower? I don't know if we even really need it, to be honest. Um, it'd be nice. So let's lease it. Uh, lease it. Uh, forestry equipment. 
not much new stuff in there, I don't think. Um, belt system still the same. Low loader still the same. Header trailers should still be the same. Forage harvesters and headers. Okay. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Oops, I just quit us out of the game. Hold on a second. Back in. There we go. Alright, let's go and pick up this other bloody mower and the, and the uh, wind roll. That'll be a lot easier for us. Because you can definitely definitely see Oh, it doesn't look as obvious there. Oh, we don't own that. Oh, no, we do. I say, I don't know. It's like we've, um... It's like we've damaged it. Let's go... Grass... Ready to harvest. Yeah... I don't know. It's... Kind of weird. I feel like we were damaging it though because we're driving over it, which probably shouldn't get damaged at all. But anyway, we'll go and pick up these, and then hopefully that makes a difference. Fingers crossed. Just yet another trip to the body store. I'd love to reset us, but. As you know, it takes all of our bloody fuel, so... I can't be doing that too often. I assume... I suppose if we, if we reset our equipment, we can't take our fuel, because we don't have any. Ooh, let's go this way. I wonder where, there must be like a service area too, where we can get, um, uh, wrong side, where we can get our, um, tractors serviced and stuff. There we go. Both of these back down. So this one unfold, which doesn't unfold very far, but uh, the front one unfold. Have a look. Hopefully this helps. So we probably need to probably need to spend a bit of time um, going around and ploughing around the field and then like planting it with grass by myself, not hiring a worker, just doing it myself and making it look like it's proper grass and not you know, all really bushy and stuff like this, like as if we're tidied up around the farm area. I'd much rather that than what we currently have. Alright, so let's go. Like this. See, that's all lowered and everything, but it doesn't seem to be much grass. It's a little bit. So there's not much there. Might, it might be a um, bit of a waste of time, maybe. It's not really not even growing the bloody grass, probably either. Yeah, there you go. It is now. Go. 
getting a lot more grass that time. I mean, it's working. I don't know how much money we're going to make out of it, but... Probably not a lot. Go down and we'll head back up. So I think... I'm sure I can see where I've driven over it. With the tractor in it like hasn't cut the grass properly. Go back. Oops. Not like that. That's definitely cutting the grass now, but it's still... Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's working. But these completed their task. Alright, let me just quickly finish this and we'll get stuck into our next, our next task. I don't think this is going to be very lucrative for us at all. So it kind of still seems like the wind row is not wind rowing everything it should be. There it is. Let's make sure we're getting right on top of that field. Try not to damage any of it. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of not looking that promising that we're going to make much money out of it. The only thing we can do is turn field 9 in into a grass field. Yeah, that'll probably be the way to go once we've harvested those potatoes and stuff. But this is... Yeah, see, there wouldn't be much grass here because... We've already ran it over with this tractor before, so... Whereas up here, there should be a decent amount. So there's a lot of trees in here we can clear out and try and make some more space, but... Yeah, see, this is probably not bad up here. As like I said, we've run over all that other bit with the tractor before, so that's why it's not really given us much. At all. Uh, Alright, I am going to fast travel this time. Set to the time. It's kind of um, not going to be as effective and lucrative as I thought. I'll bring you back. And undo you there. We need to. I don't think we have. Neither of these are fertilised, which is what I was thinking. Where is our fertilisers all the way over there? So get both of these fertilised and we'll possibly have a look at the plough. One thing I want to look at quickly is go garage. items. 
and so field, so we do need to cultivate. All right. I was thinking we could have um, ploughed around the fields and just seeded grass straight down, but. Probably not going to work like that. It's, we've just got bits of grass scattered everywhere. But if we want to join these two fields, though, that's going to be um, on the agenda very soon. That was absolutely terrible trying to line that up. My reversing skills is bloody terrible as well. straight down and then we'll shut her off go through the next field shut it off again it's pretty good fertilizing wise like we're not using a great deal you can see um, just how bad it is like there's still so much stuff behind left behind even after we do mow it doesn't look clean and crisp like I would like the grass to look if I if I owned the farm in real life I suppose I don't know you guys let me know do you reckon we should uh, play around all the fields and then put grass down like proper grass or just continue to mow like we are because I feel like it's not really um not really that effective even these roads really don't look that good I think I said the only other thing we've got is this but that restores it to initial ground state which we don't really want to do we really need that I know there's a mod out there that was in FS 17 which um, it was a roller you can actually roll the ground and turn it into like pavement like that which would be much better for us obviously we can't do that with grass but we can but then you can't mow it so Just gonna head up and grab the bailing bailing machine, which I don't think this guy will be able to have enough power to use. Yeah, I think he'll have enough power just for the mower. That's about it. It's a cozy wool traditional spinnery. I'd like to get into doing the wool production, but. I it's very very expensive to get into and I really don't know how much money we're going to make out of it I'm really not quite sure oh, another, another trip to the shop um, it's kind of annoying that yeah when we reset we lose all that fuel but I guess it's a good thing to try and stop people from resetting all the time and make it a little bit more realistic I guess um, I'm gonna go quickly down around the back of the shop all those reliable motors uh, or car losses there's nothing there Uh, here seems to be like a workshop. Uh, let's go R. Repair. Customize. We don't really need anything else, do we? We don't need anything, to be honest. But that's how we repair it. Until we buy our own like repairing station back at the farm. One thing I'd like to see is if we, if we can repair it ourselves back at the farm, it should cost us a lot less to repair, but it should take time off the game, if you know what I mean. Like repairing a tractor maybe takes.
take an hour, two hours off, something like that. Alright, uh, lower pickup, unfold baler, turn on baler, nothing out of the ordinary, it's all standard. Unfold the baler then. Does it even unfold anything? Put the legs down, that's about it. Hmm. Alright. We knocked over before, we got it again. The streets aren't up here too, somewhere that we already hit. It's just up here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Shut over the top of it. I think once I actually save the game and reset it and like reload it, it'll probably um probably change. I did also go and buy some more chickens too, so. Um, I think I brought another 19, no, maybe another 9 of each colour or something like that. And then I brought another 4 roosters, assuming that they will, um, they will help us to breed. But I'm not quite sure. Let's lower the pick up. Uh, turn it on. Let's see. This thing's got enough power. Should have, but there's not a great deal of bloody grass here, is there? Because we've already run it all over god knows how many times. And with leasing this stuff, we're going to have a daily lease fee as well, so it doesn't just go on the hours of the machine. Hours of the machine matter, but it's also. You know, a daily lease, daily cost. Don't even know if we get one bale out of this. Oh, there we go, starting to pick up now. So yeah, the the windrow didn't like windrow everything. Kind of missed bits and pieces. Automatic by itself. Oh, it's a round bale. I thought they were square bales. Uh, I'm not going to unload it yet. We'll leave it on there. Unload it somewhere out of the way. deal at all. Should be not the right tractor for it either. It's really struggling. Trying to avoid hitting that field with the, the baler. I don't think we got hard. Ah, uh, we got a fair bit up here, so I thought we got hardly anything. We got a bit. Okay, so we need to unload that before it'll unload the next one. I don't think with the bailing technology. I don't think we have. That's a wrapper. That's stacker. That only collects the square ones. And that collects the round ones. And that transports, but I don't know if that transports everything or just... Or just the um, square ones. Uh, I don't know, let's speed up the time a little bit. So this is kind of um, a little bit pointless at the moment. 
need to harvest those potatoes and get them out of here. It'll be much more beneficial, I think. There's a bit of grass there that we've missed. Get up on the inside as well. But definitely want to join these two fields together. Just make one big happy field. Don't know if it'll be enough for another bale. No. That's pretty much all that we've mowed. You can see where we've mowed. Like I said, it hasn't really been quite as effective as I was hoping. Uh, wage payments again. Uh, our weeder is there, so we're going to need to put the weeder on to get ready for me need to start weeding things. Shut you down. Um, yeah, that's double fertilizer still growing. All right, so let's let's just bump the top right up now. Uh, fertilize weed, no. Okay. Possibly go around this field, or we might get more out of this field because um, we haven't actually driven around it yet. With any other vehicle, so. Could possibly so get a lot more out of it. Ooh, careful with that crop. I'd say, yeah, we get a decent amount of grass out of this. And there's plenty of extra room for us to expand this field a little bit if you want to as well. Make sure nothing needs fertilizing or any of that sort of stuff. Oops. On, off off the beaten path then for a second. So this will be a lot better for us. Even with our stupid mistake. The uh, chicken farm thing going in there. Looks really silly. No more space for eggs. Uh, right. well, we won't get much grass here because it's new. So we can cut that tree down and be able to get some grass from here. So we're definitely going to get, I'd say probably a decent amount of grass. Oh no, I've already lifted the bloody mower. I'll lower it back down and then wind ourselves back up. Alright, shut that down for a second. Growing. Does anything need? Nothing needs weeding yet. I 
Oh, which is kind of weird. I thought it would have by now. Uh, where's that truck? Under the tree over here somewhere. Um, fertilizer. It needs to be fertilized again. I don't think we can pick up those hay bales. Or silage bales. Where are the cartons? Um, where are the cartons? They're not there, they're not there. Um. I don't know why it's telling me to come and collect the cartons. I can't see any cartons there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's just an empty bowl. That's obviously where the food and stuff will. There's no, definitely no cartons at all that I can see. Which is weird. Alright, let's just speed it back up again. To place new pallets, exit chickens. Well, there's... There's nowhere there anyway. I was not bugged out. There's nothing there. That's just stupid. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, only thing I can think of is go save game, um, quick game, career load back in uh, I can't see what that said now something about wool that would I mean it can be a lucrative business um, cut down trees and harvester yes okay Bloody load time. It's definitely taking a while to load. I didn't think it'll take this long. Hoping there's no drummers with our save, otherwise I'd be a little bit frustrated. That's where we started, obviously. So they've got the house and stuff down there. I'm starting to slow down up here, so maybe he's getting close. Come on. This is really slow. Hmm. So yeah, the chicken stuff might be bugged out, maybe. Game seems bugged out at the moment. There we go, start. Get us in there. Um, I'm going to skip through quickly. Still nothing there. So I don't know, it may be bugged. I'm not not 100% sure. Okay, so let's start growing. It's half fertilized, and there's our timer going. So we can fertilize again now. Um, 
um, fertilized. This needs to be fertilized again. Uh, what about weeds? No weeds anywhere, which is a surprise. But yeah, that's um, that chicken thing is kind of a little bit frustrating. How about this guy growing? Let's quickly just jump in and do a little bit more mowing and then um, we'll end the episode. So this will definitely um, give us some more um, bales and stuff which would be good. Probably should have overlapped that a bit better. If we overlap it a bit, we'll be able to um, move all the grass sort of up the hill. Which will be much easier. Much easier to work with than what we um, currently are. So I'm going to have to look off camera and work out if um, this whole chicken thing might be bugged. So I'm not quite sure. Got a quick look between episodes and see if anyone else is um, having a similar issues. I know someone was having issues with um, not being able to purchase chickens, but I mean we can buy them. Just can't do anything else. There's, yeah, I, I can't see any egg cartons anywhere. So, I don't know. don't even know where they're supposed to be. It's really strange. Alright anyway, guys, so I might continue with a little bit of this off camera. Um, and we'll come back when we're ready to start weeding, I guess. And um, go from there. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, make sure you smash the like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you want to see and what you don't want to see. And... Um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.